must have been some party. Superman did this? Exposed my identity and froze all Wayne Tech assets. Made Bruce Wayne a non-person. I still can't believe he lost it this bad, even with what Joker did. In Superman's mind, he destroyed Metropolis. I'm not following. Somehow Joker altered Superman's mind, so he believed he was fighting Doomsday. But it was Lois. No. Joker linked the nuke's trigger to Lois's heartbeat. When she and the baby died, Metropolis died with them. Superman was vulnerable. Probably for the first time in his life. His fear won out. Green Arrow died trying to explain that to him. All right, moving on. What's with all the security? I mean, he already trashed the place. Would you take any chances with me? I need to crank up the Batcave's backup generator. You're with me. You three secure the Batcave entrance. It's in the study. That's a great plan, Spooky, but, uh, isn't this your show? Splitting up saves time, and you're best suited to take out the automated sentry guns. All right, then. Operation Thunder Eagle Lightning, whatever, is underway. I've never seen the Batcave. Our Batcave, anyway. Should be. Interesting. How did you hide anything in here from Superman? Looks like he was pretty thorough. The cave walls are injected with lead polymer. There's no way he could find what we're here for. Sounds environmentally safe. Sure went to a lot of trouble. Between this and the DNA. Neutralizing Superman was not a call I could make alone. So I put the weapon in a vault that only opens by simultaneously sampling DNA from Superman's closest allies. Our counterparts. With my Green Arrow dead, and the others backing Superman's insanity, I needed you, your matching DNA. It's behind there. Lantern. That one. A rock. You're gonna throw a rock at Superman. Hands on the scanners. Yellow. Computer, begin recognition scan. That's it. Let's move. Status. Internal circuitry 60% damaged. Flight mode is offline. Again?
The duplicates. They've incited insurrection. We must suppress this filth. Willfulness leads to anarchy. It cannot be allowed to spread. I made them safe. Shielded them. But are they grateful? Do they appreciate my protection? No. They whine, complain, side with those criminals. If they prefer chaos, I'll give it to them. Metropolis and Gotham, I'll flatten them. Set an example. Then, I'm finding the dimension these duplicates came from. They'll pay for interfering. Wait, we're wiping out whole cities? I invading worlds and other dimensions? You have a problem, Billy. Well, yeah. It's crazy. It's going too far. Man's world is incapable of self-rule. We will preserve order. No, no. There have to be limits. Even on us. Especially on us. That's enough! We can't do this. Have you gone nuts? Lois would never want it. Just... Anyone else? Cyborg, Raven, take control of all media broadcasts. I want everyone to see this. Wonder Woman, Hawkgirl, Adam, you're with me. Sinestro, prepare your ground forces. Lantern, Flash, get Doomsday ready. There's no done. Maybe not for you. Goodbye, Hal. You can't leave. Barry, don't make me do this. You didn't give me a choice, Hal. There was no shortage of vendettas during Superman's reign, and no shortage of bounties for Lobo to collect. He became one of the richest men in the universe by assassinating those who ran afoul of the High Counselor. Lobo's already massive ego inflated along with his rising wealth. Lobo searched for an assignment worthy of his abilities. With so many super-powered beings already dead at his hand, however, bounties were scarce. Lobo decided to use his wealth to create his own ultimate contract. He would kill the denizens of New Genesis, home of the New Gods. 